Hello, today's devotional can be found in 1 Samuel chapter 28, verse 5. And when Saul, when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart greatly trembled. Alright, so, when we see wickedness, we should not be afraid to stand up to it. Because we are not wicked people by nature. We are actually very good people by nature. We are just influenced by wicked things and wicked people into becoming wicked. And yet we allow this to happen because we fear the power that the wicked influences have over us. Nobody has power unless we give it to them. If we stand by and allow wicked influences to rule over us and our countenance and our actions, we are giving them the power to do so. We are giving them permission. But if, if we stand up and tell them to stop it and tell them we're not interested in being wicked, we are making the choice to stand up in the face of evil and stand for what we believe and know to be true. We don't need to be afraid of the wicked because they, compared to God, have no power at all. In fact, we should fear God enough to realize that we'll have to look him in the face one day and say how we spent our time on the earth and in the little waiting period before the resurrection, the final judgment and resurrection. If we say that we feared wickedness so much that we allowed ourselves to be taken on a spiritual downturn, God's going to wonder why we didn't turn to him for help when his help was there and freely offered. And we will have to answer for that. Our heart does not need to tremble greatly in the face of wickedness. It may be strong, but God is stronger if we ally ourselves with God and stay close to him. We shall be untouchable for the atonement allows us to seek safety and refuge from our sins and from our sorrows and our weaknesses and it allows us to gain strength in the face of the never-ending battle between good and evil. Someday the battle between good and evil will be over. And someday evil will lose and good will come out victorious. And personally I'd rather be on the victorious side but you know, everyone has their choice and some will end up on that losing side simply because they chose and they decided not to turn to God and they'll be left weeping and wailing and full of a trembling heart and fearful of the decision that they made. Let's make the decision now to be unafraid, to stand up for what we believe to be true and good and right. Because if we don't stand up, who will? And if eventually nobody stands up, who will defend our right to live righteously? And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.